Hey guys, welcome back and in this video, I will be showing you how I made this awesome remote control robot using Arduino. I will be giving you complete instructions including the circuit diagram, the PCB files if you want to make a PCB and complete codes and their explanation so that you can make your own version of it. My name is Sidin and I am super excited to teach you everything you need to know about Arduino, home automation, robotics and other fun DIY stuff. If you are a true fan of Arduino and DIY projects, make sure you subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button here. So, let's get started. For this project, we will be controlling this robot using this HC12 wireless module based remote controller. This mainly have a joystick, some buttons over here and an accelerometer. The Arduino gathers all these sensor values and will be stored in the separate variables. These variables are then combined into a single line separated by commas. And this single line is sent to HC12 wireless module and will be broadcasted to all HC12 wireless module within its range. The HC12 wireless module in this robot receives this data and will be sent to Arduino. This Arduino process the single line of data, break down and store them into separate variables and will be used to drive these four motors. We have an entire video dedicated for this remote controller where we explain the working of HC12 wireless module, the sensors, the entire circuit diagram and the coding of this remote controller. So we won't be covering that part in this video. So at any point if you feel stuck, make sure you check out this video over here. Now about this robot chassis, I got it from banggood.com. This is a 4 motor driven robot chassis. And like our previous robots, this robot have tracks instead of wheels. And this enables the robot to travel over different kinds of terrains. It also has a spring suspension mechanism for every wheel so that the front plate will automatically adjust to obstacle and move over it. If you want to check it out, I will leave the link in the description. Now let's take a look at the circuit. This is the circuit that we will be using on the robot side. I used Altium Designer to draw the circuit and design the PCB. It is a powerful tool which can be used to design and create your own PCBs for your projects as well as complex and multi-layer PCBs for industrial use. I will provide the link to the trial version in the description, so make sure you check it out. The circuit contains a terminal block called WEEN where we will be connecting input power. You can connect a 9V battery, 12V lithium polymer battery or if you are planning on building a wired robot, you can use a 12V DC adapter. This input power is then connected to a 7805 voltage regulator. This voltage regulator converts unregulated voltage between 7 to 32 volt to a steady 5 volt DC power supply. This 5 volt is then fed to HC12 wireless module, L293D motor driver IC and to Arduino. Or you can connect this voltage input directly to the VIN pin of Arduino. Since we have 4 motors in the robot, we will be connecting 2 on either side. On the left, you will see left motor 1 and left motor 2 and on the right side, you will see right motor 1 and right motor 2. Input for left motors that is input 1, input 2 and enable 1 will be connected to D4, D5 and D2 of the microcontroller. Whereas input for right motors that is input 3, input 4 and enable 2 will be connected to D6, D7 and D3 of Arduino. Pin number 8 and 9 of Arduino will be connected to TX pin and RX pin of HC12 wireless module. These work as software serial interface using which we will be fetching the data from HC12 wireless module. This circuit will collect all the data coming from HC12 wireless module of the remote controller using HC12 module connected to the Arduino of the robot. This includes the sensor values in a single line separated by comma every 10 milliseconds. This data is then passed on to Arduino. The Arduino then process the signals, separate them into different variables and send signals to L293D motor driver IC which will drive the motors. Once the circuit was finished, I designed a compact PCB using Altium where I can fix all the components neatly. Here you can see routing is on both sides of the board but components are placed only on the top side. And that's done. All you have to do is export the Gerber file. I ordered my PCBs from PCBWay. PCBWay is a PCB manufacturer specializing in PCB prototyping, low volume production and neat and tidy PCB assembly. If you want PCBs for your hobby projects, make sure you check it out. I will leave the link in the description. To order your PCBs from PCBWay, go to PCBWay website and fill in the basic board details in the instant order form. From there, you will be directed to a form where you can provide more elaborate board details. Now, 
update your board information in the PCB specification screen. In the next screen, you should be able to upload your Gerber file and submit it for a review. Once the review is completed, all that is left to do is add to cart, make payment and wait for your PCBs to arrive. Once you get all the components and the PCB, it's time for you to solder them together. Solder all the components onto the board and make sure to check the polarity of the components before soldering. After soldering, the PCB looks like this. Now, let's get down to the software part. Here, I'll be programming the board using our favorite Arduino IDE. And here is the code for our robot. The first thing to do is include all the libraries that are required for our program. After that, we will define a software serial interface at pin 8 and 9. This is where we will be connecting TX and RX pin of HC12 wireless module. After that, we will declare some variables that we will be using for separating and storing different variables. In the setup function, we will be initiating the serial and software serial communication. After that, we will declare all the pin as output as we will be connecting it to L293 d motor driver IC for controlling the DC motors. In the loop function, we will check for any incoming packets in the software serial interface at pin 8 and 9. If there is any data coming through that software serial interface, it will be stored in string variable input. After that, it will be broken down into separate sensor values and will be stored in these variables. Once we have done that, we will call drive robot function. In the drive robot function, we will provide conditions to drive the robot the way we want depending on the value of these variables. There are 5 functions forward, backward, left, right and stop which will turn on and off the pins that are connected to L293D motor driver IC and control the motors. That's it guys. Now all you have to do is select the right port and board and upload the code. Now you can power on the entire robot and try moving the joystick of the remote controller. If everything is working fine, you should be able to control your robot using the remote controller. You will find a lot of awesome DIY projects in our channel, so make sure you check it out. If you have any questions regarding this project or any other projects, do ask in the comments. So see you in the next video.